One year after the pandemic forced children off campus and into remote learning, more parents are clearly seeing one side effect. It's the aftermath of all those hours in front of computer screens. Tonight, KKL 9's Alex Biston looks into easing the strain on your child's eyes. So what's the code for the read works test? Nine year old Jared Harris is one of thousands of LAUSD students that has been doing schoolwork through Zoom over the past year. That means between remote learning and after school homework, the third grader spends up to seven hours a day on the computer. One eye is starting to make some of my stuff that I see a little blow you. So his father Larry took him to a pediatrician. He was doing the eye chart and he was really having problems seeing it. Because yeah, his eyes are pretty bad. I go, what a drastic decrease all of a sudden. I said to her, she goes, yeah, it's not unusual this year. Um, a lot of kids are having a lot of eye strain from being online all day. It's an increasing trend ophthalmologist David Samimi at Dignity Health is taking note of. Uh, patients have been complaining about having more eye irritation in general, and we think it is from, like we said, staring at the screen, not blinking. Because of this pandemic side effect, Dr. Samimi says he suspects there will be a higher rate of children developing myopia or nearsightedness, since many are spending more time looking at screens. We think that when patients are spending so much more time focusing up, up, up close, that the shape of the eye changes and maybe even the lens inside the eye changes to a degree that at rest, the patients are more are more nearsighted. And so yes, that it may lead to an increase in you know the need for glasses to be able to see well at distance. And as a return to in-person learning is closer in sight for LAUSD students, Harris says he will continue to keep his children at home for virtual learning. Both my kids, you know, they have autoimmune disorders, and I understand this is one of the fallouts we're going to have to deal with is vision issues. So what can parents do to help protect their child's vision during remote learning? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends taking frequent breaks from screen time and spending as much time outside as possible. Alex Biston, KCAL 9 News.